Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring it down to bite-sized pieces. Today, got some pretty good stories about mass adoption and more industries getting into crypto. So first up, Canada's leading mortgage brokerage now accepts Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Bitcoin Cash. This is just another story of some places that just finally get it and some places that are just going to be left behind. Speaking of people that are being left behind, this is Hester Pierce. She is one of the SEC commissioners, and she says the government or the U.S. government's ban on cryptocurrency, they can try it, but it'd be very foolish and very difficult. So we'll take a look at what's going on there and uh, how ridiculous it would actually be to try to ban cryptocurrencies. And finally, I just want to do a quick update on uh, Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rico trip, and the new video I'm going to put out about investing over there in Puerto Rico, moving over there, and then how to use different cryptocurrencies to pay for uh, all the services that they have over there, including uh, investment property. So we'll do all that, but first take a look what's going on in the market. So today, what a great day, right? Uh, these are the days that uh, you we really live for, right? So you watching this video, you probably have invested a little bit into crypto and digital assets. So congratulations, all the people that said, this is not gonna work, this is all a scam, it's gonna go to zero, and uh, crypto is being used for um, terrorist organizations and cartels and stupid stuff like that. These are the days when you sit back and go, yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing. And this is the year that I think everything's gonna go pretty well. So sit back, enjoy the W, because these are the great days. And right now, the total market cap is uh, two over $2 trillion, $2 trillion. Imagine that. Imagine that one year ago, when we had that uh, enormous crash and we were, ah, gosh, we were not even $200 billion. Now here we are at, uh, we've 10 x we're at $2 trillion, so not too shabby of a day. And um, just real quick, let's see what's going on with the price action. Let me blow this up so you can see what I'm talking about. So Bitcoin's up 1%. Now it's over 60,000, but just teetering on it. So it's not uh, anything guaranteed like it's going to stay stay above that. I think people will take profits and uh, maybe who knows. Ethereum's up. Uh, actually, everything's up. Let's just be honest. Uh, XRP is almost up 100% for seven days. Watch out. Good job, XRP holders. I am one of them. I am one of them. And uh, it is not easy to hold that, I'm sure. Tether, nobody cares. Let's see. Anything up? Fantastically. VeChain's up 14%. Wow or 4%, I guess, 13%, 51% for seven days. It's pretty good. 24 hours, 13%. Everything's just up, uh, pretty much. So again, these are the days that we live for. Now let's just take a look. Let's uh, satisfy our inner trader. I'm not a big trader. Again, we're using Trade the Chain. The link is in the description where you can find all that stuff. And uh, we're going to click on this projected range right here, and it's going to flip over. Let's see if I was a trader, which I am not, I would take a look at linear Harvest Finance, Bitcoin Gold, Lisk, Tomo Chain, Genesis, blah, whatever that is. And today, just so you know, it's April 10th. It's 9 a.m. El Paso, Texas time. So check a look at this. Uh, this is with 90% assurance. This is sentiment analysis. You're looking at 11% increase, 4% for Harvest Finance, Bitcoin Gold, interesting. 3% and then 3% for uh, Lisk. So definitely take a look at those. Again, you can find Trade the Chain, but let's just jump into today's top story because I thought this was pretty fascinating of what is going on. So what we got here, and if you've been on the channel for any length of time, you know that I believe in holding assets, cryptocurrency, digital assets, assets, land, asset, even gold and silver, assets, uh, properties, assets. So I like to accumulate these things because it just usually, usually, not all the time, usually appreciates. And uh, when I see something like this, it, in my mind, it, I, all I can think of is that this is great news because now we're leading into more adoption and different industries getting into it. At first, it was just you know a bunch of uh, you know libertarians who wanted to get in, get in there. Now it became speculators. Now we've got these big institutions, hedge funds, insurance companies, which we just talked about, uh, Liberty Mutual, and all the rest of those those big companies, Mass Mutual. So now we've got a uh, mortgage brokerage uh, getting into it. So how close are we to just tokenizing the entire real estate industry, which is $280 trillion plus? Who knows? But uh, I just thought it was interesting, especially the very title here. Canada's leading mortgage brokerage now accepts Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Bitcoin Cash. It's interesting to note that uh, on PayPal, that's pretty much the same thing, except you're flipping Litecoin for XRP. Why do they do that? Well. XRP is pretty easy for payments. And no matter what you want to think about it, and it's like, it's a banker coin, it's really awful, it's not essential, eh, whatever. Here's the thing. 
super fast for payments and uh, nothing so far that I've experienced has beat it. Now, of course, in the comment section, we're like this one beats it and Dash beats it and that beats it. Sure, we're talking maybe milliseconds to a second, I guess, but every time I've used XRP, super fast. So uh, I can see that. So what's going on here? Well, Toronto-based mortgage brokerage firm Matrix Mortgage Global announced and now accepts all the coins we just talked about on April 8th. Uh, this move will help the company to increase payment transparency while expanding its global reach. And that's very true. Everything that's on the blockchain is a public ledger. So every type of payment can be seen. I wish they would do this for a lot of different places because if you've ever been through different um, problems with the bank as far as payments for your houses, which I have, it sucks because you have to like prove this and prove that and what happened here with on a public ledger, it doesn't matter. It's just right there. It's great. Anyhow, more, Matrix Merge Global will allow payment with digital assets with the help of leading crypto payment service, BitPay. But the real question to me is this. So if they're going to do this and they're going to allow these types of payments, are they going to keep this cryptocurrency? Uh, are they going to transfer it over into fiat and just keep it like that? Or are they just going to take that Bitcoin, that Bitcoin cash, that Ethereum, that XRP, and hang on to that, uh, those assets in their native form? Or are they going to transfer them over? Now, if you're like... Elon Musk over at Tesla, they said, you can pay for your, your Tesla, but we're going to keep it into Bitcoin. We're not going to transfer it over. Other places, that's PayPal. That's not what they're going to do. They're going to transact everything into fiat, and it's going to be settled like that, but they'll hold on to your crypto. So the question for me then is, and I think for you, is I wonder if they're going to keep this these crypto payments. That would be just one more feather in the cap and one more opportunity for these people just to hold on to crypto. Eh, we'll see. Me personally, I like assets that go up. Uh, the dollar usually isn't really going to go up too much, especially with like quantitative easing. But hey, they could have a resurgence. I have no idea. It's up to them. But uh, hopefully they do uh, the smart thing. And then, of course, what's great about cryptocurrency? It's 24-7, 365 liquid. If you want to get out, very easy to get out. Anyhow, to finish up, CEO Sean Allen says that as an innovator in the mortgage industry, we decided to accept crypto to better align ourselves with the shift towards the global adoption of digital currencies. And uh, just so you know that this isn't just some fly-by-night place. They started in 2008. They funded over a billion dollars worth of mortgages, winning multiple Broker of the Year awards. And um, actually, I was talking to my uh, friend over there, Hashoshi, and uh, he, we were just talking about um, the industry over there in Canada as far as like uh, buying houses and things like that. It's crazy. It's like crazier than America, apparently. And it's just a really hot market. So this is a smart move on their part, especially for crypto people who just like, you know what? Let's just use it like that. I personally wouldn't, you know, pay for my mortgage right now in cryptocurrency, but down the line, hey, who knows? Now, the other big thing I'm wondering is this. If you've ever tried to prove to a bank that the cryptocurrency that you own is you have that asset and you can put that up or that would be considered so you can get approved for a bank loan because me personally i like to use other people's money not my own money and uh that is a very big problem right now we're going through that in puerto rico for another investment property very tough for them to accept that so maybe this is just one part of what could potentially be an even bigger process. And then if this really becomes a pass, how long do you think before we start to tokenize the entire real estate industry, which is over $280 trillion? That's trillion with a T. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments section. I thought it was a great story. Let's move on to our next piece.